On this mind-blowingly quick Ableton tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the BPM in Ableton. All you're going to do is go up here, and I can scroll up or down. That simple. Now I'll show you a couple cool tricks. First off, the default BPM in Ableton is 120. So if I double-click it, it goes to 120. Now, like I said, I can scroll up or down to change it. You can see right there. And in addition, I can type it in. So let's say I'm doing an EDM record, like a typical house record at 128. I can go 128, boom, you can see 128 BPM. In addition, I have tap right here. So let's say you have a band with you and the drummer is doing a beat and you're like, wait, what tempo is that? You can tap along and you can see as I continue tapping, the BPM will naturally adjust to the speed that I'm tapping. That way you can sync the speed or the BPM in Ableton to the BPM of your drummer, for example. Another thing, lastly, I'll show you is automation. So let's say, put this back at 120. Let's say I'm in, I don't know, 115, which actually is one of my favorite BPMs to produce in. It's like a perfect blend of Moomaton, which I love, and it kind of allows you to mix decently well into house stuff. What I can do is click down here, and then go back up here and click Show Automation. Boom. Now you can see on my master, I have the song tempo, or the BPM basically, right here. Now, I will say, I don't know why Ableton does this, probably because who would do this? First off, the lowest BPM you could have in Ableton is actually 20. It says 60. The highest is actually 999, right? However, the default is 60 to 200 because I think Ableton thinks, who would make a song slower than 60 or faster than 200? Although, I will say, it would be interesting to make a song at 999 beats per minute. But anyway, I feel like that would be like an interesting like DDR song or something. But anyway, let's say I'm in 115 right here. Right, so I already put it at 115 right here. And let's say it's gonna be, I don't know, I have the intro right here, maybe a second intro, and then let's say this is the build, and then let's say this is the drop, right? So what I would do is let's say I want the, to start in 115, and then on the build, start be, building, not only in terms of the suspense and elements, in terms of a build, but also the BPM, just click right here, right? I'm at 115. Might as well actually make this back to this fixed grid. 115, and then boom. Put this at. Let's see, maybe do. Actually, 128, right? So I'm going to zoom in. So you can see now, you can look up here. I have that red dot, which means it's being automated. When I'm playing here, it's at 115. And then you can see here, it's increasing, right? You can see that increasing right now. And then I'll just kind of let this go to here. And then boom, once it reaches here, boom, we're at 128 BPM.